Welcome back to another Bombing Gouge Golf video. Today we are at my home course, Locust Hill Golf Course in Charlestown, West Virginia for a new series on the channel called How Low Can We Go? It's basically just a two-person scramble when we don't have another team to play against. So today we're doing it. It's going to be myself and Christian Boyd. Christian is a Division I golfer at Marshall University and an absolute stick well-decorated amateur player over here in the state of West Virginia. Um, and we're going to go 2v2 scramble, but a little bit of a twist with two clubs only. We're going to go driver off the deck and wedge only. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's playing a little bit firm, very, very windy today, but we're going to go as low as we can. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you like this video, comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. That's all that being said, let's head to the first tee. All right, first hole, we got a par four here, 410 yards, super windy, dead into the wind, so this one might be a challenge, but we're going to send it. Let's go. first it's probably what is it to cover so 130 but to cover probably probably 120. 120 so hooded I'll probably hood a 54 and well once you decide that's it <laughs> I'll go put it 54 here and I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> you got it. But harder. All right, we're we're looking good though. Totally right. It, it goes yeah. that way, doesn't it? Yeah, I've done it before. Okay. All right. Everything's like a foot. All right. Do it. Oh. Good putt. All right, so good par on the first hole. That's the tough hole into the wind today. So we got a par five coming up. Might have to go driver, driver to get there, but we're sending it. All right, number two here, par five, 563. Hard downwind, so we are going to send it. Try to get home in two. Perfect, man. Great ball. Stop turning. Yep, good one. It is. What's a uh, day in the life of a Division One golfer? I, mean, I played D2, wasn't really too serious, not much practicing, not much physical fitness, wellness, all that stuff. What's D1 look like? Well, we usually try and schedule classes in the morning. Uh, we have workouts on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then Saturdays and our lunch. But, so Tuesdays and Thursdays is usually when we schedule, when uh, it's about the only two days we're in class. So we go to workouts at 7 a.m. and then every day, Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So what is what is that? Uh, what's the commitment level like? Are you expected to play every day that you're down there? Are you expected to follow a nutrition plan? What what does it look like on that front? We're out there practicing every day. I mean, I usually five, six, seven, eight hours a day, mm -hmm. spinning at the golf course. Now, what about do they have you follow any sort of nutrition plan or anything like that? No, we do have a nutritionist, but we don't. Golfers. Oh. We just do whatever we want. I guess. Now, do you do um, golf-specific exercises? Is that what yeah. you train? Okay, yeah. they do a sprint. Okay, so it's not like just a, trying to get you as fit as possible. It's, no. it's like yeah, we're doing you know, mobility and, yeah. and endurance and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. And, uh, we have a little snack bar in there. We usually grab like some fruit and a protein shake after. And nice. Stuff nice. like that. Now, did you... Um, 
you won an individual title, right, for high school? Yeah. yeah now, how, how many did you win by there? I think three. Okay. What were you thinking of going when you were going down that final stretch when you uh, um, had a chance to win a big tournament like that? Well, actually, I was down going into the second day, and I was down off to the front nine. Then I hold a wedge on 10 and made a two, and then I shot, like, 31 on that backside. So I, I kind of finally put it together. I was making some birdies, and I think I shot, like, um, I think I shot 68 that final round. Okay, okay. And, uh, was it was pretty stress free on that back nine. I was I was really hitting the ball well. Were you thinking about the score at all, or were you just in grind like total uh, head down mode, just go as low as possible? I had a kind of couple shot lead. Um, I was just the last couple holes. I think I was just trying to hit fairways and greens. Yep, yep. That seems to be a common theme. I talked to Sean, who's won the Maryland Open a couple times, and he said that. In that final stretch of holes when you're in contention, you try to break it down fairways and greens and even break one. it down further one shot at a time, whatever your process is, yeah. whatever you're breathing, like breaking it down very low levels. So. Yeah, I wasn't, you know, if you get caught up in the big picture, it's it's not really going to, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. So I was just kind of focusing on hitting, hitting the fairway and hitting the middle of the green. And, you know, when you have a lead, you know, you can kind of play to 20 feet and then yeah. So gotcha. else. All right, we got about 240 in here, so nice nuke there by Christian. Uh, going to go drive her off the deck, try to get as close as we can. Oh my God, that's freaking perfect, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Right on the back of the green. That's impressive, though. Darn, good shot. I thought it was good. That was awesome. Easy chip. All right, Christian hit an unbelievable shot there. Right off the back of the green here. So we're going to try to chip this as close as possible, get that uh, easy birdie. This is why I need to get better with chipping with the 54 instead of using my 58 all the time. Shot. <laughs> Great shot, man. Heck of a birdie there. Uh, good start here. On to a short par four, possibly driver, uh, possibly drivable downwind. All right, par four here. Like I said, straight away, short one. We got OB right, water left, but uh, driver off the deck. We might be able to get close to the front here. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, we need me. That's not good. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> All right, got some car path love here. I uh, got about 25 yards right off the front of the green. Uh, he's got a 56. I got my 54. We're just going to try to open it up and see what happens. Dude, you're nasty, bro. That was nasty. Great shot. I might have to. I might honestly bump it. Yeah. Because of how dry it is. Try to land it right on the top of that hill, that kind of like a bumper. Yeah, great. Oh. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Gotta get used to how hard you have to hit it with it, man. Me going arm lock, it just feels abnormal to putt without uh, something up my arm. <laughs> Thing. So oh. tough, tough par there. That was a, uh, a good, good hole from start to finish. Just didn't convert on the putt, but all good. One under, going into number four. Let's go. Every time I played number one, which was only for a year and a half at Shepherd, all the number ones I played with were uh, either assholes or just super quiet guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you're only one of those two, Kristen. <laughs> All right, par four here, 388. One of the toughest par fours on the golf course. We're just trying to split the fairway and uh, get an easy wedge in. Hit it. Consistent right there. 
right on that little line. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yep, hell of a shot there, Christian. Good job. Two under after four, I will take that all day, and we're on to number five. This is gonna be a tricky one with the wedge on this uh, par three here. Okay, we got 127 here into the wind. I'm gonna just try to hit a nice little hooded uh, 54 and just see what happens here. So hard to get the speed, man. I think that was the line for a little bit more speed, don't you? That was the first one I've hit with a driver, too. <laughs> I don't know how hard to hit it. Yep. Good putt. Hey, pars on par threes with this format is never going to be a bad thing. So, two under after five, one to a short par four. We can definitely birdie this one. Actually, I'm kind of feeling like four or five under might be gettable here, yeah. to be honest with you. Pretty, pretty good here. Let's go to number six. Yeah, I think we're at the decision point. Are you going to go driver or wedge with the flat stick? Uh, I think you're going to go wedge. Wedge. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable either way, so I think it's just going to depend on the distance. And That's kind of what I think. Yeah. It's a long one, just bang a driver, short one, maybe not. I don't know. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, par four here, 344. Um, kind of a tight one here. Christian, I think, is just going to try to bunt a driver down there and try to give me free range. I mean, without a tee, it might be tough, but eh, we're going to send it. You know how we do. Good throw. Mm. I think it's, oh, yeah, it's bouncing. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you. A little spinny one, but just short. go right. I thought at first it was going to go right. <laughs> All righty. Kind of a missed opportunity there, but uh, it is what it is. So this next one's going to be, I think, the most challenging hole of the, of the nine holes. Long par three. No idea what we're going to do, but we're two under and moving. Let's go. All right, par three here, 155, but it's downwind. I'm just going to hood a 54 and send it and see what happens. I think I might be able to get there. Just try to blade it, purposely blade it. Blade it? What about a bunt driver? I'm gonna blade it. I'm gonna try and blade it. Blade it. Just full send a bladed wedge. There it is. Kick left. That was close. Good try. All right, pretty stress-free pars there, chipping it to a foot in the last couple holes, pretty good. Uh, par five, and then a short par four to finish here, let's go. All right, par five here, it's only 485, and it's way downhill, definitely gettable. If we hit a good one here, we might be able to have a 54 degree in here, so that would be nice, we're gonna send it. Oh, there she is. Oh, <laughs> hammered, bro, <laughs> nice ball. Go after it. And I f up 
to, like I just said I wouldn't. Okay, we got, after Christian's nuke there, he hit that about 350, absolute bomb. Um, got 120 in here, wait, 120, right? Yep. Got 120 in here, um, pretty easy pin, just to the right of the ridge there, green light special, trying to get an eagle. Takes us to four under with a short par four coming on. Eagle cry. Ah! Let's go. Finish strong. Get to five. Okay, par four to finish. Short one here. Only got about 300, but it is into the wind. So, going to just see what happens. I'm going to try to, I can't tee it up. So, I'm going to try to just somehow hit a high draw <laughs> over the trees and see what happens. But finish strong with the birdie. Get to five deep. Two man. Drive up the deck and a wedge only. That's pretty epic. So, let's see if we can make it happen. Boy, put the pressure on me. Down and left. Down and left. <laughs> and rolled across the path. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Hey man, good job. So four under, not too bad on a, our first How Low Can You Go series. So appreciate you coming out, Christian. It was a good time. Uh, four under with just a driver wedge is pretty impressive. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Tell me what you think. Until next time, keep sending it.